Welcome back to another review of stocks for the upcoming week. This morning's great job report pretty much guarantees the announcement of a Fed rate hike this coming week. But most analysts believe that this is already figured into the equities market. Oil has fallen below the crucial $50 per barrel price. So this is an added wild card that will impact what you can expect to see in the coming weeks. Generally, the lower the oil prices are, the more downward pressure is put on the overall market. Mortgage rates have also hit their high for the year, currently 4.21% for a 30-year fixed rate loan, up from 4.1% just one week ago. You'd be crazy to wait any longer to refinance your home, especially as we get into the prime spring market. If you're looking for a new home, expect multiple offers in most areas with homes selling over the asking price. It was a great week for investors that took advantage of our recommendations discussed last week. For example, Snap. Snap went through some growing pains and spooked a lot of first-time investors on day three following its IPO. And for the next six months, you should expect a lot of volatility as it finds its way, which is typical with such a prominent and social media driven tech firm. Expect that Monday, March 27th to be an important catalyst as this is when it's expected that the underwriting banks will issue their first reports on the stock. Next month, we'll see Snap's first quarterly report since going public. This should be interesting. For our friends at Arinia Pharmaceuticals, it probably felt like the Super Bowl day when the New England Patriots came back from behind and won the big game. But this celebration consisted of a lot of barbecued bear meat. Look at this activity. So what's the future hold? Buyout? Merger? Japanese funding options? Who knows for sure? But one thing we do know if you're holding this stock, you can't go wrong short or long term. Once it starts hitting $9.50 a share, be careful to not buy large blocks of it unless you're ready to sit on it for more than a day trade. Of course, catalysts make this subject to change. Next we look at advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD. Huge upside is expected here, and she just keeps moving up. Higher highs and higher lows, great volume and lots of positive sentiment, along with buy and hold ratings from a number of analysts, makes this a great long-term and moderate hold stock to consider for your portfolio. With the impending Fed rate hike next week, and probably two or three more after that, I expect to see Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC, and Citizens Financial Group, ticker symbol CFG, to keep moving on up. Both banks have been pushing up at their 52-week highs, and this is expected to continue into the foreseeable future. Two biotech penny stocks that I'd like to take a look at that should have some terrific action next week include Cerulean Pharma, ticker symbol CERU, and Tenex Therapeutics, ticker symbol TENX. Both stocks could nearly double in the short term. CERU develops cancer therapies that work in combination with other cancer treatments. The big catalyst here is a potential buyout. Last month, Tenex announced top line results for several devices in the works. And on March 19th, they have a special meeting with the FDA to discuss options for their drug that minimizes low cardiac output syndrome that missed important endpoints However, it's been used for years in over 60 countries around the world. Their stock dropped from a low $2 range to $0.44 cents the next day. So that's definitely one to watch. Don't forget that investing in stocks carries risk, so don't invest anything you cannot afford to lose. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you found the information helpful, we'd really appreciate if you could like this video and click subscribe.